Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. And in this video, you will learn how to build a WhatsApp chatbot that can answer from a PDF file. In a way, you will learn how to create a GPT chatbot on documents. So you provide a PDF file, it will learn from that PDF file and we will connect that knowledge through some mechanism to WhatsApp and you can you know interact with all the PDF file through WhatsApp. So let's get started. The code used in this video is available on my GitHub repository and the link is in the description. So I have uh, already cloned the repository. The first step I'm going to do is I'll create a virtual environment using uh, VE and V module. Next, I'll be activating that. Finally, I'll use pip install hyphen r and I'll provide the requirements.txt file and install all the dependencies. Meanwhile, uh, this dependencies are being installed. Let me walk you through the code. So first of all, I have a data folder. Inside that, I have input, which is a PDF file. And just to show you that the PDF file is one of my favorite book, which is Seven Spiritual Law of Success. So we will read that. I have output folder in which we will create the output of reading this PDF file just to you know create the indexes and knowledge and inside DB folder all the knowledge will be created. So this is the folder structure here and I am reading this folder structure in this configuration here. I'm using uh, .env to read the environment uh, file. I have Twilio SID and Twilio token. I'm reading it from environment file. Uh, open AI API key, reading it from environment file. Again, this uh, from, which is the Twilio number, which will send reply to the user. Um, again, reading it from uh, environment file. And these are my directories from which I'm uh, reading all the data. Next, I have call. Okay, let me show you this uh, document GT GPT folder. Here, I have helper functions. Uh, one is Twilio API, which has only one function to send message to the Twilio user. Uh, all the dependencies are installed now. Uh, so meanwhile, let me upgrade the pip version so this twilio has one thing send message uh, create index this is important function so this function takes a file name uh, reads the file uh, sorry file path read the file uh, you know create a text variable which is all the text from the file then write it to output dot uh, txt into this output folder then create a loader and create uh, documents from the loader use text splitter to split the piece of text into chunks and with that piece of chunks we will create you know uh, text and with the help of text and open ai we will create embeddings which is our vector db and we are using chroma db to store that into persistent memory which is this thing okay so let me clear all these things from my so let me clear first this output so we can see that it's working let me clear all the indexes as well now this folder doesn't have anything only we have this sample dot pdf file so I have this uh, call uh, create index uh, Python file, which is just calling the create index function we just seen. 
So I'm providing the sample PDF here. So what I'll do, I'll say Python call create index dot pi. When I run it, it will create the uh, first it will create output and then it will create DB. Okay. Uh, next, I have this conversation uh, dot pi, which will create a conversation. And this conversation is reading the memory or you can say indexes and then creates a conversation retrieval chain from LLM and will return that chain. And inside this source folder, I am receiving Twilio request. Uh, requesting the question answer chain to answer my query and then uh, returning the response coming back from the query. One important thing here is that I have used this memory. Okay, uh, so this memory is automatically uh, created by Langchain. But let's say if you don't have your user data stored in any uh, MongoDB or anywhere, you should not use that cause uh, that will create problems in the conversations and in the response. But let's say if you have users data and users query in some uh, database, then you can create a chat history and append that here. And the chat history will be um, will be a list of uh, list of uh, uh, conversation question and answer so that will have question property and answer property so i guess this is uh, it and you can see that it has created indexes as well so let's run this So the application is running. Now the second part where we connect uh, this application to Twilio. So for that, I will spin up my ng-rock server. So this URL will expose my uh, local machine. So when I click on it, and view site, yeah, we'll see OK, which is coming from here. Now I'll go to Twilio. I have a project created on Twilio. I'll go to messaging and I'll go to try it out and send a WhatsApp message. Here uh, we have this. Uh, okay, here first you need to save this number and write means send the first message you want to send is this so join uh, byte determine and i'll do that as well at this point from my phone yeah and you can see my phone is now connected here uh, the next thing we are going to do is go to sandbox setting and I'll copy this URL and I'll provide it here and our path is Twilio. So I'll say Twilio and I'll save this. That means whatever message now I send from my WhatsApp to this number, this number will come here and Twilio will send a request on my ngrog will in turn come to my local machine and uh, with that we will use QA to you know generate the response and send back the response so let me try that so I'll say let's say hi first yeah you can see a new message came here 
okay and response is sent back as well you can see it from here and i got a response let's say uh, what are the c1 spiritual laws of success you can see a new request came here and the question is what are the seven spiritual law of success and yeah a response came back uh, let me for convenience print response as well okay let me try again uh, tell me about the law of pure potentiality yeah you can see that you can see that uh, i have asked this tell me more about the law of pure potentiality and uh, yeah this is the response uh, so this is my question a chat history is none and answer is the law of pure potentiality is the first spiritual law of success and stuff like that so i guess uh, this is working perfectly fine let's say you now have uh, another document just put that document into input folder uh, go to this call create index.py just provide the path of that pdf file and run uh, python call create index.py so that will add the indexes into this db and then you can you know ask the question uh, through whatsapp and i guess this is it from this video i hope you have gained some knowledge out of this video and if you do so and if you uh, download the code from my github repository please consider giving it a star it helps and consider subscribing to my channel as well it helps thank you for watching peace